The issue is that we need to learn to appreciate each other, that we need to live together to bless one another. And that is true prosperity. And money will follow. You understand? I'm not saying there will not be money with you. Money will follow. That's not an issue. But the true prosperity comes out of relationships. And that's what we need to learn. It's an art which every one of us can learn. And I want to challenge you, please, learn that art of appreciation. Learn to appreciate your closest friends, your spouses. If you have a spouse, learn to appreciate your spouse. If you have children, learn to appreciate your children. If you have parents, and I think all of us have or had some, you know, learn to appreciate them. Appreciate the brothers and sisters who are close to you. You will be truly blessed if that is the case. So let me say that again. Not things enrich our lives. People do. Are you with me? It's not the things of this world which do enrich our lives because they come and they go. But people are meant to be there for eternity. We are made in the image of God. And if we are following the call of God for our life, we have eternal life given to us for free. So that's what really enriches our lives. Now, let me take you quickly again back to the book of uh, Song of Solomon. And this time I'm going to the chapter ten, uh, five, five, chapter 5, verse 10. And please, everybody who has a Bible, can you open your Bible? Now, in case you are thinking, this is a little bit too, too difficult to bring into a congregation, you know, this is Word of God. You know, sometimes we are not reading certain things because we think it's a bit hot. No, this is Word of God. And I want you to learn one very important thing from what I'm reading, and that is that you and I are called to learn to appreciate each other. Hello? Praise God. Song of Solomon. Okay? Chapter 5, verse 10. The Bible says here, my lover, and it's talking about two people who love each other, okay? There may be other meanings people talk about, but first of all, there are two people who love each other, okay? And we want to see how these two people relate to each other. And I think in a family, it's important that people who are close together in a family learn to relate to each other in such a way. You know, as lovers, as husband and wife, as spouses, they need to learn to appreciate each other. And of course, in every other relationship in the family and in the church. My lover is dark and dazzling. Better than 10,000 others. Praise the Lord. His head is finest gold. His wavy hair is black as a raven. His eyes sparkle like doves beside springs of waters. They are set like jewels washed in milk. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want to ask you ladies, have you ever talked about your husband like that? I can assure you it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Why don't you appreciate for a change? You know, you say, well, you know, maybe my, my, my husband doesn't have the best figure, but if you love him, he's the best. He's the best. You know, better than 10,000 others. Now, we have not finished. Let me come back. Verse 13. His cheeks are like gardens of spices, giving off fragrance. His lips are like lilies, perfumed with myrrh. His arms are like rounded bars of gold, set in burial. His body is bright, it's like bright ivory glooming with lapis lazuli. <laughs> I 
Verse 15. We have not finished. His legs. Have you ever said something good about the legs of your spouse? His legs are like marble pillars set in sockets of finest gold. His posture is stately like the noble cedars of Lebanon. His mouth is sweetness itself. He is desirable in every way. Such a woman of Jerusalem is my lover, my friend. Hallelujah. You know, these are the things which we need to see. My, my friend, why don't you open your eyes? Maybe you have not seen for some time. Maybe you have been nagging your husband, nagging your wife for all kinds of different things. I want this, I want this, I want that. You know, and there's a bad spirit in your home. But I want to tell you, open your eyes. Look at the hair. Look at the cheek. Look at the mouth. Look at the eyes. Even at the legs. <laughs> you know, when have you last said something good about your, your spouse? Praise the Lord. You know, this is the art of appreciation. Can you, can you get this? Oh, praise the Lord. You know, when you get home today, you should, uh, those of you who are married, eh? You should say, okay, my husband, can you stand here? And, uh, or my wife, can you stand here? And then you look at each other. Mm. And begin to appreciate. You know, you take things for granted. And you know, we human beings, we take things for granted. Just because you are married for three years, you take your husband, your wife, you're for granted. That's not right. You know, say something good to your spouse. You know, say something which lifts him up, which lifts her up. Praise God. You know, the whole spirit at home will change. Have you, have you noticed how we began to change the mood in this room? Just because I was talking about... I talked about the head, which is like the finest gold. I talked like wavy hair. I talked like eyes sparkling. I talked about cheeks like gardens of spices. I talked about lips. I talked about arms, body, legs, mouth. You know, did you ever see somebody who doesn't have those things? Madam, those of you who are married, does your husband not have legs? Not have a mouth, not have a body, not have all these things? You know, when have you last appreciated? You know, open your eyes and learn to appreciate. Sometimes we are getting busy with the television and the television is bringing things in front of us which we are getting worried about, but we should look at one another. I want to tell you the best thing you can get is what you can receive out of a relationship with somebody you love. Praise God. You know, relationships enrich, enrich greatly, bless us beyond imagination. But we need to do something. You know, we need to invest into that relationship so that we can get something out of that. So that is the exploration which I'm talking about. The exploration that will change your life. So begin to explore your spouse, your children, your parents. And you know, as you have seen here, we are only talking up so far about the outside, the visible things. We have not even talked about the, the qualities which are deep inside of a human being. You know, the ideas, the visions, the hopes, the dreams, which are in every human being. And I tell you, if we are beginning to be serious about lifting those treasures, our life will never be the same anymore. 